I quit social media for a week. I remember many, many years ago when I was working at a digital agency for between 8 to 10 hours every day, I was listening to that one song by Placebo on my headphones a lot called Slave to the Wage. And I was kind of imagining myself as the hero of that story, as somebody who's struggling and grinding through the standard regular 9 to 5 and basically yeah, working for the man. And I was thinking that the boss is the boss because there is some sort of magical thing that happened that put them ahead of me. So I didn't take into account any of the risk they probably had to take, any of the investments they made, and even harder grind at the early stages to build up the company enough for them to be able to even hire people. It's all difficult stuff. And right now we're in the era of the personal brand which everybody is now pushing towards you saying that no, no, you don't need to be that 9 to 5 wage slave anymore. You can now be a personal brand and sell some PDFs online and live the YouTuber life of glory and free time and basically complete freedom. I quit social media for a week, just a week. So it's not enough to really hurt my sales. They actually increased a little bit. But I realized a couple of things and I decided that I really, really need to change my strategy because it was just plain wrong. Yes, we are not doing a 9 to 5 anymore and we're not slaves to the man anymore. But what we are is slaves to the algorithm and many, many times over we actually do work longer hours than the 9 to 5. The problem with social media is that Right now, everybody and their mom is trying to become an influencer. They're thinking that this is just the best possible approach, which basically means creating content. And I really hate this whole content creator moniker. I really, really want to be called something else. I'm not an influencer. I'm not a content creator, even though I've fallen into that trap for a while. I'm a designer and a curious person that's experimenting with different things a lot. And you can see that on both my channels. But the problem with social media nowadays is that creating content requires the constant begging for engagement and trying to figure out how to maybe trick people to engage with my post a little bit more, either by a hooky title or some visual nobody else has done before or some way to make them comment under a post or a video more than they would normally. And we're trying to constantly trick people into doing that stuff for us because that engagement is what drives our numbers and those numbers apparently are the most important thing in our lives. This is also why so many big Instagram creators actually purchase their first 100,000 followers because it kind of gives you that feeling that you already made it even before you did. And also it gives the people that come to your profile the incentive thinking that, oh, 100,000 people follow them, so I probably should too. But this whole game is all about fake inflated numbers. And I sadly fell into that trap myself. And that break actually helped me realize the error of my ways. Because there are certain types of content that do a lot better on social media and it leads to people just kind of copying and recycling over and over the same kind of stuff. And a lot of the content creators actually are farming the engagement of the people that follow them and are tricking their followers to behave in a certain way. And I don't always mean just buying from them. In some cases, it's just kind of pushing people to push the content further by liking, commenting, subscribing. You've heard this a million times before. And I realized that I don't want to be part of that bullshit. I don't want to be part of tweeting crap and garbage and pointless, useless trivia, basically, just to maybe have 68 people agree with it in just enough time for the algorithm to push the post further. And we've seen so many just crappy takes, and I've done a couple of those myself, things like, oh, to be a great designer, you need to first be a great problem solver. I mean, like, fuck, really? It's like the most boring, cliche, unimaginative thing ever that's not contributing anything except for the noise. And I realized that I sometimes have some ideas, I sometimes have something valuable to share, or at least something that I think is valuable, but many times I just played the content game and it's time to stop that. I don't care about the numbers because I'm lucky enough that people trust me. 
And I actually get bigger sales than four to five times larger in following accounts on social media than mine. So I don't really need to farm the users or farm the followers in any way. I could just do the good shit that I'm doing and focus just on that good stuff. So instead of talking about every possible thing, I'll just talk when I have something meaningful to say. And I also noticed that while being away from social media, of course, I was using my computer, I was working on different things, and many times I caught myself in the last second while starting to type T-W-I-T-T. -T -T. And basically at this point I was realizing, what am I doing? Am I subconsciously, instinctively typing the Twitter URL or the Instagram URL into the browser without really wanting to do so? So yeah, that means that something is wrong with us. Something is wrong with society. And the thing is that people aren't learning. We call ourselves, at least I do, educators or like online educators. And in many cases, that content, 99% of it is just noise. It's not teaching anybody anything. So yeah, I don't want to contribute to that noise. I only want to share things that truly will help somebody either free or paid, but they need to make sense. They just can't be that kind of trivial garbage that everybody's sharing. And sorry if some people get offended, but I didn't miss anyone's hot takes on the industry while I was away. I wasn't really catching myself thinking, oh, too bad I'm not on Twitter right now because that person is probably saying something smart right now. Nope. Which only proves it's a loop and we put ourselves into it, but there is barely any value in it. So time to change that, time to create that value, time to post a lot less, but more meaningful stuff and not contribute to the noise.